Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, Canadians are concerned about crime, which is one reason why they gave our government a strong mandate to keep our streets and communities safe. Canadians lose confidence in the justice system when offenders who commit sexual crimes against children receive sentences which do not reflect the severity of their crime. This is also true of drug dealers who sell drugs to children who, who, or who bring dangerous drugs like heroin, cocaine, or crystal meth into Canada. We hear from frontline experts like police and victims that we need tougher sentences for people who are engaged in this kind of activity. Can the Minister of Justice please inform this House about the latest steps he has taken to help keep our streets and communities Good safe? Question. The Honourable Minister of Justice. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First of all, I'd like to begin by thanking this honourable member for all the hard work he does on justice. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to inform the House that all members will have the opportunity this evening to support the Safe Streets and Communities Act oh. when it comes up for a vote. Now, this important legislation cracks down on pedophiles, drug dealers, drug producers, arsonists, and the most serious, violent, and repeat young offenders. I was speaking just earlier today with Dale McPhee from the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police, and he told me that this bill is fully supported by his organization and by police across Canada. It should be supported by everybody in the House as well, Mr. Speaker. 